Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Kai and in today's video, we are going to show you how you can convert landscape video into portrait using Premiere Pro. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro and we're going to show you how you can convert your landscape footage into portrait for your Insta Reels and TikTok videos and YouTube Shorts. So here I have some footage that I've already edited in landscape mode. This is actually 4K footage. And what we want to do is we want to take it from this landscape with all this dead space either side and put it into portrait mode. So how can we do that? Well, what we need to do is come over to our sequence and go to sequence settings. In sequence settings, we can check the frame size, which is 3840 by 2160 and the aspect ratio is 16 by nine. And what we want to do is actually change this aspect ratio to nine by 16, which is the portrait setting that you can use for reels and TikToks and YouTube shorts. So to do this, we can go to our frame size and actually change this to 1080 for our horizontal and 1920 for our vertical. And you will see that it now changes the aspect ratio to nine by 16. And what we can do is hit OK. We get a warning message about deleting all previews for this sequence and we're going to hit OK. So now we have the aspect ratio that we want. One thing I should quickly mention here is because this is 4K footage, it fits really nicely into the 1080 by 1920 aspect ratio height wise. If you're using HD footage, you will need to scale this up in order to fill your frame for your portrait video you will notice that Gemma isn't actually in the middle of our frame here. So what we can do is select our footage, go over to where it says motion and position, and then take the X value and drag it over so that she is now in the middle of the frame at the beginning of our video. And we can go through our footage and correct the position how we want it to look. Again, just selecting the individual footage files and then coming over to motion position and moving the X value over so that it's more central. If you look at the first clip where we have a speed ramp, you will notice that Gemma doesn't actually end up in the middle of the frame. I kind of want her to start off in the middle, but during the speed ramp, I want to keyframe the position so that it ends up with her face being more central. So I can do that by coming over to my position and selecting the stopwatch. That will create a keyframe. And now I can move forward in time and create another keyframe, dragging the X value over to the left. And now it will start off in the middle as it speed ramps, it will then move into that correct position. And the motion is a little bit jittery here. So what I can do is drag this out, select both the keyframes, right click, go to temporal interpolation and change it to continuous Bezier or Bezier. And it's a little bit smoother Let's just see if we can try that one more time. Move it a little bit in line with the speed ramp. So it starts off in the middle, speed ramps, and now her face has been moved into the center using the position data. So now that I have my reel, I've aligned everything from my landscape to my portrait. I've changed the aspect ratio. I now want to export this. And this is quite important because if you don't export this correctly, you're going to end up with black bars either side, which is not going to help for your uploads to TikTok or to YouTube Shorts or to Insta Reels. So let's go to our export and we can go file, export media. This takes us to the new export 2020 page and you'll see there's black bars either side. We do not want that because we will end up with a 1080 resolution just with a portrait but then with the black bars to make up the difference of the landscape. We want something that is truly portrait. In order to do that, create a file name. I'm just going to call this Gemma, choose your export folder. That's fine for me. And here is where you want to make the change to your preset. Select the scroll down and go to match source adaptive high bit rate. Now you will remove the black bars and we can go to send this to media encoder or export it here. I'm just going to export it in Premiere Pro. If I open this now and play it, you will see that I have a true portrait 1080 by 1920 aspect ratio which I can upload to my socials. There are a few ways that you can upload this. If you are using a Mac, you can airdrop it to yourself. 
I'm on PC here at the moment. So what I do is I place it in my G drive or my Dropbox folder, and then I download it from my phone from there. And then I upload it to my social media reels. So that's it from me today, guys. I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the little bell for notifications. If you have any more questions or comments on portrait and landscape video in Premiere Pro or have any tips and tricks yourself, leave them in the comment section below. All that I've got left to say is stay creative, stay safe, thunder and lightning, and I'll see you, <laughs> I'll see you next time on Kai Creative.